Hello everyone and welcome to another episode on 10 mathematicians you must really know about. David Hilbert was a German mathematician and one of the most influential mathematicians of the 19th and early 20th centuries. Hilbert discovered and developed a broad range of fundamental ideas in many areas, including invariant theory, the calculus of variations, commutative algebra, algebraic number theory, the foundations of geometry, spectral theory of operators and its applications to integral equations, mathematical physics, and the foundations of mathematics. Hilbert adopted and defended George Cantor's set theory and transfinite numbers. Moreover, Hilbert is known as one of the founders of proof theory and mathematical logic. Initially, he worked on number theory and abstract algebra, but before long, he turned his attention to integral equations and completely transformed the field. Many crucial mathematical terms and theorems have been named after him, including Hilbert space, Hilbert curves, Hilbert classifications, and Hilbert inequality. Number 2. Emmy Noether Emmy Noether is considered the most influential female mathematician in history. She was a German scholar known for her landmark contributions to abstract algebra and theoretical physics. She discovered Noether's first and second theorem, both fundamental in mathematical physics. As one of the leading mathematicians of her time, she developed theories of rings, fields, and algebras. In physics, Noether's theorem explains the connection between symmetry and conservation laws. From 1907 to 1919, Emmy worked in the fields of algebraic invariant theory, Galois theory, and physics. Between 1920 and 1926, Emmy devoted her time to studying the theory of mathematical rings. Her work became a breakthrough in abstract algebra when she postulated several principles unifying topology, logic, geometry, algebra, and linear algebra. Number 3. Paul Erdos Hungarian-born Paul Erdos was a legendary mathematician of the 20th century. He is famous for publishing more research papers than anyone since Euler. Both of his parents used to teach mathematics. At 16, his father made him familiar with two of his lifetime favorite subjects, set theory and infinite series. Erdos pursued and proposed problems in discrete mathematics, graph theory, number theory, mathematical analysis, approximation theory, set theory, and probability theory. Much of his work centered around discrete mathematics, cracking many previously unsolved problems in the field. Overall, his work leaned towards solving previously open problems rather than developing or exploring new areas of mathematics. He devoted his waking hours to mathematics even into his later years. Indeed, his death came only hours after he solved a geometry problem at a conference in Warsaw. Number 4. John von Neumann John von Neumann was a Hungarian-American mathematician, physicist, computer scientist, engineer, and polymath. He was regarded as having the broadest coverage of any mathematician of his time. He was said to have been the last representative of the great mathematicians who were equally at home in both pure and applied mathematics. He was a pioneer in applying operated theory to quantum mechanics in the development of functional analysis and a key figure in the development of game theory and the concepts of cellular automata, the universal constructor and the digital computer. Von Neumann published over 150 papers in his life, about 60 in pure mathematics, 60 in applied mathematics, 20 in physics, and the remainder on particular mathematical subjects or non-mathematical ones. During World War II, Von Neumann worked on the Manhattan Project with theoretical physicist Edward Teller, mathematician Stanislav Ulam and others on problem-solving key steps in the nuclear physics involved in thermonuclear reactions and the hydrogen bomb. Number 5. Alexander Grothendieck 
Alexander Groton Deek was a stateless and then French mathematician who became the leading figure in the creation of modern algebraic geometry. His research extended the scope of the field and added elements to commutative algebra, homological algebra, sheaf theory, and category theory to its foundations. At the time, his so-called relative perspective led to revolutionary advances in many areas of pure mathematics. He is considered by many to be the greatest mathematician of the 20th century. Grothendieck began his productive and public career as a mathematician in 1949. He received the Fields Medal in 1966 for advances in algebraic geometry, homological algebra, and K-theory. His fundamental contributions include the topological tensor products of topological vector space, the theory of vector space, and the theory of nuclear space. Number 6. Kurt Gudol. Kurt Friedrich Gudol was a logician, mathematician, and philosopher considered along with Aristotle and Gottlob Frege to be one of the most significant logicians in history. Gudol had an immense effect on scientific and philosophical thinking in the 20th century, a time when others such as Bertrand Russell, Alfred North Whitehead and David Hilbert were using logic and set theory to investigate the foundations of mathematics. Gudol published his first incompleteness theorem in 1931 when he was just 25 years old, one year after finishing his doctorate at the University of Vienna. The first incompleteness theorem states that for any omega consistent recursive axiomatic system powerful enough to describe the arithmetic of natural numbers, there are true propositions above the natural numbers that can neither be proved nor disproved from the axioms. To prove this, Goodall developed a technique now known as Goodall numbering, which codes formal expressions as natural numbers. The second incompleteness theorem, which follows the first, states that the system cannot prove its own consistency. Number 7. George Cantor George Cantor was a German mathematician. He played a pivotal role in creating set theory, which became a fundamental theory in mathematics. Cantor established the importance of one-to-one -one correspondence between the members of two sets defined infinite and well-ordered sets and prove that real numbers are more numerous than natural numbers. Cantor's method of proof of this theorem implies the existence of an infinity of infinities. He defined the cardinal and ordinary numbers under arithmetic. Initially, Cantor's theory of transfinite numbers was regarded as counterintuitive, even shocking. This caused it to encounter resistance from the mathematical community. In 1904, the Royal Society awarded Cantor its Sylvester Medal, the highest honor it can offer for work in mathematics. Other significant works by George Cantor include Uncountable Sets, The Cantor Set, Infinite Sets, Convergence Series, The Continuum Hypothesis, Infinitesimals, Number Theory, and Functional Theories, among many others. Number 8. Andrew Wiles Sir Andrew Wiles is a British mathematician. He is best known for proving Fermat's last theorem, which has eluded science for over three centuries. Wiles is a specialist in number theory, and he is a research professor at the University of Oxford. He was knighted in 2000 in recognition of his achievement, and Oxford's Mathematical Institute building is named in his honour. Wiles is known to be quite an intelligent mathematician because he uncovered Fermat's last theorem when he was only 10 years old. It is fascinating that such a young boy was able to comprehend mathematical intricacies as such. Andrew Wiles presented his ideas in 1993 publicly at a conference at Cambridge, but there was a shortcoming within the proof. Then, with the help of his ex-student Richard Taylor in 1994, he was able to fully support the proof, which was published in the Annals of Mathematics. He was awarded the 2016 Abel Prize for this outstanding work. Number 9. Gregory Perelman 
Gregory Perelman is a Russian mathematician who is known for his contributions to the fields of geometric analysis, Riemann geometry and geometric topology. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest living mathematicians. In 1994, he proved the sole conjecture in Riemann geometry which had been an open problem for the previous 20 years. In 2002 and 2003 he developed new techniques for analyzing Ricci flow thereby providing a detailed sketch of a proof of the Pankori conjecture and Thurston's geometrization conjecture the former of which had been a famous open problem in mathematics for the past century In 2006 Perelman was offered the Fields medal for his contributions to geometry and his revolutionary insights into the analytical and geometric structures of Ricci flow but he declined the award stating I am not interested in money or fame I don't want to be on display like an animal in a zoo Number 10 John Horton Conway John Horton Conway was undoubtedly one of the most celebrated British mathematicians of the last half century. He first gained international recognition in 1968 when he constructed the automorphism group of the then recently discovered Leech lattice and in doing so discovered three new sporadic simple groups. At around the same time he invented the game of life which brought him to the attention of a much wider audience throughout his life he made significant contributions to many branches of mathematics including number theory logic algebra and geometry on 11th april 2020 at the age of 22 he died of complications of covid-19 So I hope you guys enjoyed this video please consider liking and subscribing and do check out my other channel linked on screen so thank you all for watching and see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day goodbye